Thanks, Madam Deputy President. I move that the Senate take note to document 40. Um, this was a response to a resolution of the Senate that was um, agreed to on the 16th of August, which was a motion moved by my colleague, Senator Lee Rhiannon, about land clearing in New South Wales, which was asking the New South Wales to delay um, implementation of their new controls over, over land clearing because of concerns about them that they wouldn't meet federal standards in the Commonwealth Offsets Policy under the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act, and that the, where some uncertainty as to whether the proposed clearing would require Commonwealth approval. And so we were calling, the Senate called upon the New South Wales government to delay setting a commencement date until there was more certainty, and in particular until the mapping that's required to be able to make informed decisions about land clearing had been completed and that there was certainty about the issue of, New South Wales, of offsets from in New South Wales um, and would meet Commonwealth standards. Um, the response that, was, that we are um, being taking note today was the response from New South Wales, which was is incredibly inadequate and does not address the issues that, have been, that the Senate was asking it to consider. All they have basically said is that they will continue to work with the Commonwealth Department of Environment and Energy to develop clarity for landholders and will work closely with landholders and is working to build general understanding around the requirements and processes for meeting environment protection and biodiversity and conservation requirements. This is totally inadequate when you think of what the implications of this are going to be. It means that there will be land which is going to be cleared with the support of the New South Wales government that has got incredible biodiversity value that should be being protected because of the national and commonwealth controls under the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act, and yet the New South Wales government is going, is going to allow this to occur. Certainly myself and my colleagues will be pursuing this issue because land clearing in New South Wales and in Queensland is continuing apace. It has escalated in the, in the last uh, in recent years. It is contributing to a massive increase in our carbon pollution, and the consequences of losing this vegetation are dire. They are dire for the plants and animals that depend upon this vegetation. That means that Threatened species are becoming more threatened. They are becoming critically endangered. We are seeing birds and animals on a trajectory towards extinction because of the sorts of land clearing that is going to be approved by the New South Wales government clearly here and by the Queensland government. And the Commonwealth has got a role. We need to make sure that the conditions and the controls that are in the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Act are applied rigorously. And it is very clear that under the, the provisos and under the, the, the rules that are being set by the New South Wales government, that isn't occurring. And so for the future of our Australian plants and animals, I'm determined that we will continue to pursue this so that we actually will be able to protect these critical areas of native vegetation um, for our future. So the question is that the motion is moved by Senator Rice, uh, number 40, at responses to Senate resolutions be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Against the ayes have it.